Welcome back, officers of the public. Your course on under police chief AP Gaines. Uh, someone in chat just asked. Uh, well, didn't ask. They more proclaimed. AP Gaines, I have too many side projects. What do I do? What do I do? I, I can't focus on one thing. This is generally how I break it up and kind of the pitfalls that I used to fall into that I prevent myself from falling into to make sure that I farm as efficiently as possible, right? So right here, you might see AP Gaines, you only have five characters favorited. If you look on a lot of other people's accounts, whether they're streaming or just friends or even your own, you might see two or even three or even four, God forbid, rows of favorited characters. Um, oftentimes it's, you know, the team you're farming right now, and then a couple of things from some galactic legend you might farm, and then there's some Malgus, and then there's some fleets you're farming, all this sort of stuff, right? You have characters all over the place. And when you have characters all over the place, your mind can wander. So even five characters right here is too many, right? Because what you see here is the last three requirements for a galactic legend. Good. Those should be favorited to remind me how close I am. Gives me a sense of progress, keeps me from quitting, keeps me from being, oh, blah, blah, blah. But if I was just starting my Galactic Legend farm and I had every goddamn character favorited, then I feel overwhelmed. And then I don't feel like I'm making any progress. So when you're farming something big, I usually go with three to four characters at a time, right? Find the characters that you're going to use sooner, like the, the Han Solos and 3 like the characters that are good. Keep those favorited. Get them to where you want them to be. Unfavorite them. Gives you a sense of accomplishment, right? It's like, you know, when you're in a slump and you feel terrible all week, kind of like how I feel right now. A lot of times some advice that like a therapist or someone who cares about you would give is like, you know, go do the dishes or, you know, walk the dog or something. You want a small sense of accomplishment. It gets the ball rolling, right? If you see everything right there, you have this overwhelming sense of dread and I have no idea where I'm going, even if it's for a single goal, like a galactic legend, right? It's all pointing in the same direction but your head's all over the place. So pick a couple of them. But that's if it's a big project. Let's say you have a bunch of small projects. Like right here, I'll use it as an example. These characters are gonna stay here because I'll have JML in the next month or two. But this Hux and this Malgus add a couple of problems, right? Emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and efficiently, right? The problems that arise here is that, you know, I'm, I'm getting close to this and then my attention goes over here. And why is Hux favorite? I don't really use the first order. But I pride myself on having really good ships, right? So he's favorited so that my finalizer can get up to seven stars, and then he can come to seven stars, and I can relic him so it's fast. So even that way, I don't have to put high gear into the first order. I can get some viability. Because then I'm thinking not only about the finalizer, I'm thinking about the fact that I have to get cruise ship up to seven stars to get the finalizer to, you know, to start farming more finalizer shards. And then I have to get the echelon up, so then my fleet energy is going over here, and I can't use my fleet energy towards, you know, preparing for my JML. And then I'm like, oh my god, and then I have to relic these characters so I can get some damage output. And that's not even to begin with Malgus. Malgus, and this this actually happened to me. When I added Malgus, I all of a sudden favorited the Marauder and the Sith Empire Trooper, right? Because I'm going to go Malgus, Darth Revan, Malik, Basilishan. Uh, Marauder and then the Sith Empire Trooper I'm gonna use as a tank a pre-taunting tank or you know maybe in territory wars where I need a pre-taunt or something you know what I mean so I started favoriting more characters and I'm like oh well if I'm gonna use this like I, I might need to prepare a counter and then I add it and then your mind just goes everywhere right I'm rambling to exaggerate the point a little bit but when you have everything favorited and nothing is specific then I don't know if, like, oh, I'm seeing a bunch of green plot. Maybe I should, you know, get a couple of gear pieces over here. But then that slows down my Padme grind. Side note, every time you open Hux, they give you this goddamn pack. Capital fucking games. I don't want to buy this pack. This is the 30 millionth time you've offered this to me. God damn it. Sorry. That was a quick capital game. Sucks, right? But then that's diverting my attention from Leia, which in turn is diverting my attention from fucking Mon Mothma, which means I get JML slower, which means I don't get the big ticket. You know what I'm saying? two to three things two i'm yelling it's seven in the morning let me calm down i've had too much caffeine i almost never have caffeine i'm actually like low-key allergic to caffeine because i don't i've never had coffee in my life i don't drink caffeinated beverages but last night was the fourth of july and i woke up at five in the morning um and i had a celsius so i'm a little hyper i apologize let me calm down Be specific. Two to three things max. You don't feel overwhelmed. It gives you a sense of accomplishment. Be specific. Don't plan too far ahead. This is a long game. It's a marathon, not a sprint. 
be specific in your farms. You'll be happier, you'll be more efficient, and AP gains will stop having a heart attack because my heart is beating out of my chest. It's the summer of the 69 subscriber. We're trying to get 25,000 subscribers. I love you. Give me forehead kiss. Bye-bye. <laughs>